What's up, guys? Tech Team here. Um, we're gonna do some. Uh, well, you read the title, so we're gonna try out some assembly stuff that I've been teaching myself. But uh, and I guess before we get into it, um, I don't know school started, so I've been kind of busy. I've really been uploading, so uh, I don't know. My upload schedule might not be consistent, but. Um, I hope that this is the first of many videos on uh, this topic. So what we're going to be what we're going to be uh, doing today is um, some uh, simple, well not simple, but assembly code for the TI-84 Plus CE, and uh, it's um, it runs uh, some something called the EZ80 processor. Apparently, and I'm just using regular Notepad that comes with Windows. Um, so I don't have the fancy stuff. And I'll put a link in the description for this website. Very useful. I just followed the steps. So uh, they show some um, uh, some uh, setup steps. Uh, I don't have this. So I'm just using Notepad. It works. Probably be nice to have at, uh, syntax highlighting though. Um, and then we have the assembler. This is a link to a GitHub page. You can go get that. And then uh, TI Connect. I don't trust. I don't trust to directly. You know, I don't want to put in some assembly program directly into my calculator and then brick it by accident if I mess up or if, if something goes wrong. You know, I don't want to do that. They say that um, the C move or the, the the emulator for the calculator is unusable. I find that that's false, so I'm just going to assume that this guide is just old. It's, it works pretty well, you know. It's, you know, it actually works really well. Um, moving on, the something called an equates file. Um, I already have it, I'll show you guys. So I, um, and then um, the assembler, they, they, they have a basic program, and then they have. Um, they have a batch file for the thing. I kind I kind of made mine a command line tool with the arguments and stuff. So I don't know. I just customized it a little bit. Other than that, there's really nothing here. And then I just made a real simple program. Uh, and I made a I've made a development folder or whatever you want to call it. So uh, with my bin, this is where the compiled programs go. And uh, if I try to edit this with the with um, TI Connect CE it actually will not open because it's not um, it's not basic it's not a basic program it's a uh, binary so it's not going to open and this appears to be um, what this is open with oh, uh, this is just a log um, lots of just I don't know a hex dump maybe you know this well this is my program so I'm assuming it's converting it but I don't, I don't know you know exactly what's going on includes this is the this is the you know file with all your uh, stuff you know um, what I did I did remove something from this from the original file and uh, I'm not gonna scroll it's uh, SPI there you go. The SPI ports section, I don't know why it's there. Um, it's uh, the SPI port, I'm, as far as I believe, is only available on the TI Inspire and it doesn't exist on the uh, TI 84 Plus CE. So obviously the assembler was unhappy that this whole section was here. It's pretty long. And I just deleted it because, uh, as far as I understand, Unless I'm missing something, it just doesn't work. It doesn't exist. Um, and there's no, no, there's no, there's really no way to control USB. That's the only port that's on the calculator, like even for charging. So I just got rid of it, and then that everything works fine after that. Um, okay, so now to the actual program. Um, the ROM file here. This is a ROM of my. Uh, of my calculator and it's required for the emulator to run and apparently you know whatever um, this is the program itself that I've written 
and uh, it includes the you know the file that contains all the text stuff, whatever. And then uh, it sets some values. I forget what these stand for. Um, I, what I what I do know is this is basically setting what type of program it is. It's it's identifying that it's um, assembly, and it's for the TI eighty four CE. And this is compile something. I don't know. Um, and then the memory. I'm pretty sure it's two because something to do with the three byte memory addresses. Something something. I don't I don't know. I'm not an expert. Um, yeah, then something called ADL mode. I don't even know what exactly. Um, and then the actual code begins down here. And uh, essentially what it does is it's this, uh, as based on what I understand, the, the home up, the call home up, this sets the cursor to zero, zero. So in the top left corner, and uh, this is in text mode, by the way. But it sets the cursor to top left corner or the coordinate zero zero. It clears the screen, and then uh, it loads some text into memory, and then the, does this command, which essentially puts the text on the screen, like it writes it to the screen, I guess. So I'll show you what I mean. And then get key is basically like a pause. So it just waits for you to click any key on the calculator, and it'll continue to the next section, and it just keeps going. And then I have some text. Wow, this is a neat little assembly program. The spaces here are so it wraps to the next line. I, uh, I'm not, I, I'm not, I didn't experiment with carries returns, so I don't really know if stuff like that works at all. Um, and then it was written by Free. Cool. Have a nice day. Goodbye. And that's all it does. So if we close this, um, or maybe I will actually. Maybe I will. But uh, we can recompile program. So I'm going into the folder and then build.bat first.asm or wait no just first and then um, I don't know YouTube and then before I run it I just want to show you guys that the, the batch file it just has these arguments so I can it's just better I don't know and then if we go in bin we go here and we hit enter Enter, enter. There we go, and you can see that it uh, this thing tells you the how long it took to assemble. So I guess if you had like a huge program, it would take forever. But yeah, um, and then we have YouTube dot eight xp. It's not going to be editable. Not going to bother trying. And then uh, oh, I'm going to close that too. And then now now we need the emulator. So we run the emulator. And then, uh, whoops, it went over to the other monitor. All right, let's drop this right here. If you run it for the first time, it's going to ask you for a ROM. And uh, I'm not going to explain the process, but it does require that you have TI Connect CE, and you do need to have a uh, you you do need access to a TI eighty four plus CE I'm, uh, at least to do this legally. Just saying. Um, is required. So this is the keyboard and then the screen itself is over here so as you can see I can click and then uh, yeah, not, not ideal but uh, it's kind of the way it has to work and right now it has this thing called first well, actually let's uh, let's clear the let's clear the calculator reload ROM so this will erase it and then uh, see validating OS and then if we hit clear program it's done so this is basically a brand new calculator and uh, just like your real calculator, we can send files to it. We can send this file called YouTube. It should work the same. And then if I hit program, we have a program called YouTube. Very intuitive. It's pretty simple. Hit one, hit enter, and then wow, this is a neat little assembly program. It's written by Shri. Cool. Have a nice day. Goodbye. And then it exits. Um, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Um, yeah, no, so it's there. I'm pretty amazed at how simple it was. Um, and, uh, I mean, this is really nice, you know, just in case you uh, write some faulty code or some some RAM uh, memory leak of some kind, some something catastrophic like that. You don't just ruin your calculator permanently. You, uh, you can use an emulator. And that's literally it. Um... 
it's that simple. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it is that simple because it's not that complex of a program. We're not really doing that much. We're just writing some text and then uh, just some very basic input, I guess. We're just waiting for a key to be pressed and then uh, just continue. It, it, I don't know. I guess it's not that impressive. But um, I don't know. It took me a while to get this far, by the way. It, it was it's kind of like it's a lot of little things. Um, I don't know. But uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, so uh, yeah, I guess thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I know there's I know there's a lack of guides on how to do this kind of stuff because, um, you know, it's just, there's just a lack of guides I guess for whatever reason. So um, I might make more videos relating to this um, to kind of solve that issue I guess. Um, you know, maybe more in depth. This was pretty not depth, I guess. So if you know what you're doing, you might be able to get through. But I'm planning on making a more in-depth guide, maybe if this uh, if this blows up, you know, if this gets um, views, which it might. Um, and then this might, you know, be cool. But yeah, certainly uh, uh, like and uh, comment specifically, like and comment. Now, now tell me if you guys want more. And then, I don't know if I if I start churning out more videos in my free time, then you might as well subscribe. But that hasn't happened yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.